All right, so I've been getting a whole lot of questions from you guys and I uh, had a couple video requests, one of them being how to go ahead and integrate their iTunes playlist uh, onto their Kodi configuration. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to do that today. So if you wanted to add files from anywhere besides iTunes, like let's say from an external uh, drive, that'd be pretty easy. All you'd have to do is click here on music, go to files, uh, we're going to add music, and uh, right here you have this button that says browse. If you click right there, you can search uh, your computer. I have a lot of music on uh, my Toshiba and uh, all and uh, music so here's my music folder I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK right here and uh, it's gonna name it music and you could change the music So it's going to ask us, do we want to add the media from this source to our library? I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And uh, it's going to go ahead and start importing. Definitely want to give a shout out to my good friend DJ Renee for uh, hooking me up with uh, part of his collection. Make sure you guys look him up, DJ. As you can see, all of my uh, music is now on my library. As you can see, I can go through all the different genres that are here. Uh, everything's in pretty good order. I can search by artist as well. All right, great. So I just showed you how to go ahead and import your local library onto your Kodi configuration. All right, so let's go ahead and download iTunes for Windows. You're going to want to download iTunes for Windows. I'm going to make sure that I leave a link in the description of this video. Uh, when you click the link, it will give you some uh, Windows system requirements. We do make the requirements here, so we're going to go ahead and click this blue download button. Okay, so we just downloaded the uh, iTunes 64 setup. Let's go ahead and run it. Once the installer pops up, just click next. If you want to add iTunes shortcut to the desktop, Use iTunes as a default player for audio files and automatically update iTunes and uh, other Apple software. Go ahead and leave these checked. I'm going to uncheck use iTunes as a default player. You can also change the destination folder. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to leave it at the default, which will be in the program files in a folder called iTunes. Click install to go to the next step. You're going to get this pop-up that's going to ask if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. Click yes. Now sit back and wait for the installer to do its thing.
After a while, you're going to get another pop-up that's going to ask you, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Go ahead and say yes. When the install is done, it's going to tell you congratulations that iTunes has been successfully installed on your computer. By default, it's set up to open iTunes after the installer exits. Go ahead and click finish to launch iTunes for the first time. Don't forget to check out the iTunes software license agreement. I'm going to click agree. So in order for this to work, you're going to need an iTunes account. If you're watching this video, you probably already do. Click this button here that says sign into the iTunes store. If you click on this button that says file, you can add files to your library. I'm going to navigate to my hard drive where I have my files located. I'm going to navigate inside my music folder. I'm going to upload this Sizzler. If you want to add a whole folder, click file and add folder to the library. Again, I'm going to navigate to my hard drive and find my music folder. <clears throat> you may get a pop-up that says one or more of the songs that you're adding to iTunes are in WIMA format. iTunes will automatically convert them to the AAC format so that they can be added to your iTunes library. Click convert. All right, so I just downloaded my music library into my iTunes. iTunes, let's go ahead and uh, link our Cody to our iTunes. Inside Cody, click on the music folder. Inside the music folder, go ahead and click on the file that says files. We're going to want to add music here. You have this button on the side that says browse. From here we're going to want to go ahead and navigate to the iTunes media folder. To get there simply click on the C drive, scroll down to users, find your username, I'm agent 86. Go down to music, here's your iTunes folder. Click on iTunes media and click music. You don't need to click any farther than to where your music is. Go ahead and click OK. You can leave it music or change it to iTunes music.
then click OK. It's going to ask you, do you want to add the media from this source to your library? You can click yes if you like. So from the home screen of Kodi, if you click on the word music, then click files, you see your iTunes music folder. All right, that's pretty much going to do it for how to sync your iTunes playlist with your Kodi configuration on a Windows PC. I hope that this video helped you out. If it did, go ahead and leave us a comment. If you have any questions, also go ahead and leave us a comment. I'd like to thank all of our viewers for uh, all the great comments and uh, for these great questions. We'll go ahead and uh, keep answering them as long as you guys keep asking. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. You might want to make sure that those notifications are on. And of course, we appreciate you watching. Have a great day.